I like the analogy of comparing life to a game of darts. Just like how each person has a number of lifestyles they can choose from, there are a number of ways to play darts. But for simplistic reasons, we're gonna choose 301. Now, if you're not familiar with how to play 301, basically you have to throw your darts at the board and try and get your score to add up to 301. And you know, I'd like to start the analogy there. 301 is fulfillment. It's the end of your life. You've done all that you can to get to the end and make an impact on the world. But I think the real comparison is what you do to get to that final score. Your main aim in 301 is to get to 301 in as few throws as possible, which means that you have to try to get higher amounts in less throws. Now, obviously you've seen a dartboard before and really the most important part or the most eye-catching part of that board is the bullseye in the middle. Now, I compare each throw of darts to a goal in life or something that someone strives for like to achieve. And I feel that the bullseye is the best example of your ultimate goal, your ultimate path in life, what you choose to spend your whole life doing, whether that's spending a career in helping people, providing medicinal services, being a school teacher, being a construction worker, whatever you want in life is that bullseye, the most important thing. And so in your game of 301, you try your best to hit it. And now obviously you can hit other high scoring places. You could have a double 20 or a triple 16 or maybe even that green bullseye right outside the red one in the middle. But really your ultimate goal is to hit the bullseye. Some people focus on the bullseyes like it's the only thing that they're aiming for. While if they hit a double 20 or a triple 16, they're still accomplishing something. They're still getting a really high score. You know, there are places on the dartboard that score higher than the bullseye in the middle, but it's still that one spot in the middle that's the hardest to hit on the board. And people aim for it over and over and over, and the results that they get aren't pleasing to them. And so they get angrier and angrier. But I think that it's important to keep in mind that even if you don't get exactly what you want, you can still get a good outcome out of it. You can still get a high score. You can still achieve your 301. Obviously, you're striving for that bullseye, but it's okay if you don't hit it all the time. You may only hit one or two, if that, in a game of 301. Why strive for only the best if you can be okay with what you're able to do. And you know, practice makes perfect. As you progress along in the game, you get more and more used to throwing your darts and you get a little bit more consistent as the game goes on. So you're more likely, as you become more experienced in life, to hit your bullseyes. But I think it's important to keep in mind that you're not gonna be perfect all the time and you should be okay with that. So instead on giving up on your game of 301, you're just so frustrated and you don't know what to do, just keep that in mind because eventually you will get to 301. If you do all the right things and you put effort in all the right places, you will reach your end goal. And hey, who knows? You may hit a bullseye or two without even trying. It's just a matter of taking that next step and making that next throw.